Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm so freaking excited, but we're gonna be unboxing my Ipsy PR box. They sent this bad boy over to me. I have no clue what's in here. All I know is that I get sent the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, plus just a regular Ipsy Glam Bag, and they shipped in this box. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. Okay, so I have to say, I thoroughly do enjoy being on Ipsy's PR list. I feel like they take like, I don't know, such good care of the people who are on their PR list. And I'm not trying to brag by any means whatsoever. I still pay for my own Ipsy's services, but I just feel like they always go above and beyond each month to really like treat their PR people. And I just, I don't know, it feels really good to like be acknowledged and it just feels nice. But um, I'm really, really excited because next month Ipsy is rolling out with Ipsy X and it's $50 every three months, kind of like Boxy Lux, and you're supposed to get a box curated by influencers. I believe I've seen some sneak peek spoilers and I think there's like a Huda Beauty palette in there, some really other good goodies. I'll like put a little picture up here, but I'm so freaking excited. Like that's gonna be so much fun to get. Um, as you guys know, Ipsy is a monthly subscription service where if you pay for the $12 a month, you get five deluxe sample sizes and a little makeup bag. And if you pay for the one that I pay for, which is Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, it's $25 a month. You get a makeup bag with five to six full size items with a retail value over $120 plus. I'm so excited to dive in. So first things first, in this box, they have this right here, which looks to be like a little uh, notebook and it says, dream it. And on the back, it says, Ipsy, discover yourself. Oh my God, that's so cute. I think it's like a little journal. It's not a journal, it's a calendar. Oh my God, that's so freaking amazing. This is something that I need for myself. Well, it's like a mix, cause like then there's some empty pages right here. There's some like monthly stuff right here. There's calendars in the very front. Like that is really freaking awesome. That's something that I need for myself because I have to, like constantly am like screenshotting and setting reminders on my phone and to, hey, don't forget this makeup launch. So this is something I definitely need. So thank you guys so much. Uh, next, we have this like heavy box right here. I don't know what's in here, but let's find out. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. It's a little mug, what? what? Oh my God, it's supposed to hold cold or warm liquids and, any, and allows any hot, hot liquids to cool down. This is so cute and it's like glass. So, which is um, not the best for me because I am notorious, notorious for spilling drinks. But <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my God, that is so sweet. Thank you guys so much. That really means so much to me. Oh God, that is so sweet. I can't get over that. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Ipsy. Okay, now we're gonna dive into what is in this bad boy. Now, the only thing I will say that is unfortunate about Ipsy is that they never put an insert card that tells you what the product is. Like, I mean, you could pretty much tell what it is by looking at it, but it doesn't like tell you what the product is, what it does and how much it retails for. So that's something that's like, I wish they would do. Um, they also tend to mix my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and my Ipsy Glam Bag together. So I never really know what is in that bag and what's not in that bag. Usually you guys tell me in the comments. So I do apologize for that. Um, for not knowing like what is the difference between the two. Cause I never bother looking it up because I like to actually be surprised each month because I don't know, I feel like it's fun when you don't know what you're getting and they surprise you. You're like, oh my God, that's right. Um, I do know that I picked out certain items for myself. I think I picked out for my own box. I think I picked out like an item beauty from like Addison Ray. And I think I picked out one skincare and like something else. I feel like this month for picking out items wasn't the best variation for me, but we're still gonna have fun with it. So this month is called Dream It. And here we have this little makeup bag right here. This is actually pretty cute. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually pretty cute. Nice like plastic feel, which I could tell would definitely break over time, but that's okay. Um, I do really like the concept of it. So the first thing item that's in here is from Byro. This is the salmon cream. I actually have the full size version of this. I was sent this in PR from BoxyCharm back in September. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this in this bag to do for No Waste Wednesday. It's actually a really good moisturizer. I thoroughly enjoy it. So that's actually really cool. It's in here. It's really expensive too. I remember like the full size, like 120. That's awesome. Next, there is a kombucha 
plus 11% AHA exfoliation powder toner with lactic, glycolic, black tea, and tea tree. This is from You to the People. This is an exfoliation facial toner. Um, I have got to say You to the People, again, it's a really great skincare brand, and you are getting a deluxe size right here. I feel like this toner can actually last, a, a, I feel like this toner can actually last you a while, so. That's cool, thank you. I don't know why I'm saying thank you. <laughs> Every five seconds. I don't need to say thank you. Every five seconds. All right, next there's this item from Stilla. I love some Stilla. This is a stay all day liquid lipstick. This looks to be like a really, really light pink. Um, if you guys haven't seen it in my last video where I did BoxyCharm, I got a lip gasmin, a lip gasmum. <laughs> Um, lip gloss and you guys actually told me in my comment section that it actually kind of shears itself out so it's not so bright pink or not so peachy now I want to go ahead and say that the reason why I didn't open it was because it looked like it'd be very bright pink and I appreciate you guys so much let me know how it really looks but I don't want to like open it and like swatch it and then never use it and then it just go to waste so the reason why I didn't open it was just because I knew I might not like it but if I get a second one I'll definitely keep it for myself if not I'll just go ahead and keep that in my no waste Wednesday but I really appreciate you guys for letting me know okay so here we have this Stella this looks like it's a very very light pink I gotta get it open somehow I'm so excited because I'm getting these little freaking my nails are so over like look at that they're disgusting <laughs> and they're my own nails too and they grew out this long shows you how lazy I am I have not got, gotten to get my nails done okay so here we have this Stella this is a liquid lip Ooh, she's pretty it's like a mauvey pink this is in the shade petunia no patina patina I don't know. It's really pretty. That's awesome. We're getting some name brands in here. The last thing that's in here is from Cover FX. This is a shimmering veil. This is in shade Celestial. I think we got this before in a boxy charm, but let's take a look at it. Ooh, that's really pretty. Ooh, that is a very, very gorgeous shimmer right there. I love that. I think this might be the full size. Now, there are items that are scattered in this box. So unfortunately, I can't tell you what is else is in this um bag and then there's like one other item so we're gonna go ahead and just look at all the other items that are in here so the first thing i see is from igk this is a mistress this is a hydrating hair balm i believe i actually already have this uh down in my little skincare set i believe i already have this so if i do i'm gonna go ahead and add this to my no waste wednesday just because i don't need two products of the same thing especially when i don't really use it that often but that's actually really cool i love igk especially their um charcoal dry shampoo oh my god it is the best <laughs> Next, we have this Pure Lease Blue Lotus Balancing Moisturizer. This helps to hydrate and prevent the fine lines, prep skin for makeup, and this is perfect for oily skin and combination skin. I actually received a sample size of this not too long ago, and I have to say I really did enjoy it. So now there's actually a full size in here. That is amazing. Ah, I actually really do like Pure Lease. I talked about it um, in my two best of 2020s, I actually talked about the moisturizer that I use, which is the green tea matcha moisturizer. It's really good for oily to combination skin to help to hydrate and to lock in moisture to help prevent oiliness. So I'm definitely playing around with this a lot because I really do enjoy pure release a lot actually. Okay. So next we have this Loris. This is a Kabuki brush right here. I'm going to go ahead and add this to my No Waste Wednesday just because I'm not the biggest fan of Kabuki brushes, but that is actually really cool. Thank you. I feel like we're moving through this rather quickly. Okay, next there is this product from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. We have an EVH product in here. What? That is freaking awesome. I'm assuming these full size products right here are definitely in the $25 box. So this is how the ABH product looks. Please be a nice skinny wand. Oh, it's a chunker. It's a chunker. Uh, one good thing that you guys have actually told me is you can actually take this wand out and replace it with one of the wands that's your favorite and then really enjoy the mascara. So I might actually do that because I really do want to try this mascara. Next, we do have this Florist by Mills. This is Mind Glowing Peel Off Mask. Now, I have got to say, I may not be the biggest fan of um, mask, but there is something about a peel off mask that I just am so addicted to. It's like one of those things where like you pop a pimple, like you just, you gotta get in there and you just, you gotta love it. I feel the same thing about a mask. Like I will sit there and I'll start to peel it off. And my goal 
is to peel off the entire thing in like one try, like just to do it, like have it all connected and slowly peel it off. Oh my God, that is the most addicting thing ever. I freaking love it so much. So I'm done. I'm gonna give this a try. I know that this is by um, the girl from Stranger Things, Millie, Millie, Millie something brown, Millie Bobby Brown, something like that. I don't, I'm sorry if I'm not remembering her whole name, but I know this is like a brand that she came up with. It's kind of like Morphe too, definitely geared towards like the teenagers, but this would be, oh, okay, was not expecting that. It has a very nice like citrusy smell. Interesting, okay. And then for the makeup bag, we do have the little Santa sack right here, but I'm not gonna lie, this little Santa sack is actually really cute this month. Uh, just in case anybody always wonders, whenever I get a bag like this, I actually tend to put all my makeup products or like, I would put something like this and like the small little deluxe sample sizes like this, I put it in here. Whenever I'm doing my No Waste Wednesday, I always fill this up with goodies and then I ship it out to the person so that I always like get good use out of the bag. But it is like a little Santa sack because I do put goodies in there and I, and I ship it off, but I do like the color of this. So what are my thoughts on this month's box? It's really underwhelming. Um, as appreciative and as grateful as I am that I received this in PR and how cool as like this is, this is so freaking sick. And the little journal or like the, the, um, at the agenda, um, I would definitely say this box is pretty underwhelming. Um, I felt like it was really, skincare driven box and i'd like to see more makeup personally that's just my taste i know there's a lot of people out there who love getting skincare i like to see like an equal balance i feel like in this month's boxy charm there's a great equal balance between skincare and makeup and i really like to see that for i i really like to see wow i really like to see that for ipsy's well i kind of wish it was already even balanced i just feel like they went really really heavy on the skincare this month so it's definitely underwhelming in my personal opinion um but we still have my paid for box coming in. I believe I actually picked out three makeup items and I think there's like another makeup item and like I think there's like a skincare. So definitely getting some makeup this month from Ipsy. So that is fantastic. But I'm also really looking forward to getting the Ipsy X because I know that's supposed to be like a makeup heavy box. So even though this one's disappointing, there's always the one that I'm paying for. And uh, at the end of the day, I'm still really grateful to Ipsy for sending this out to me. And I'm excited to add some of these items to my No Waste Wednesday. So hopefully you guys get some goodies. Yeah, sorry for the short video. There wasn't actually, there wasn't that many products to go through. So <laughs> I guess that's it. So if you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, because I do post three to four times a week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's called R for the Life, where you guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And I also just want to give a huge, huge, huge thank you to all these beautiful Patreon members that you guys see right here. This would not be possible without you guys. Like, thank you guys so much for allowing me to follow my dreams and continue to do this for you guys. I I really appreciate it. And I also appreciate each and every one of you guys for sitting here watching my content right now, whether you guys are subscribed or not, whether you give this video a thumbs up, thumbs down, either way, just thank you guys so much for being here. So yeah, guys, that is it. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in my very next video. Bye. Bag that I got in PR, no. I put like an insert card. If have never put like a little insert card. So I believe I've seen some sneak peek Oh my gosh, I can't even get it out. Because I still pay for Ipsy all on my, like I still, because I still pay for Ipsy all by myself.